A very common task for users of Adobe Audition is to clean up the audio tracks associated with larger video files. Audition actually lets us pull in a recorded video file to extract the audio track for processing. Now we can do this in a number of different ways. If we have our file explorer or finder open, we can always drag audio files directly into the editor panel, and that's gonna open them up for us. We can also choose file, import, and import a file. Then we just have to browse for it, and it'll show up inside of our panels. However, we also have the media browser right here. And oftentimes, especially if the places you're going for your audio files and video files is very similar and consistent, you can define one of those as a shortcut. So we have our drives here, and then we have shortcuts. So if I expand shortcuts, you can see I actually have created a shortcut to our project file here. And we have our LAMB MP3, we have our LAMB WAVE, and we have a new file here called Adobe Spark.mov. Now this particular file is a video file. It's an MOV and it was actually recorded on Mac OS and not Windows. I'm on Windows right now. So let's go ahead and pull this in. I'm gonna drag this directly into my files panel here. And now it shows up. So if I select this MOV file, we can see the sample rate, the duration, the channels, the bit depth, and all the stuff that we saw when we actually had our own recording of just audio. However, if I expand this a little, we can see that we have a little video file, a video track inside of this MOV called Adobe Spark. And then we have our audio track, Adobe Spark. And if we pull that down, we can see this is a stereo file with left and right channels. So there's a ton of information we're already getting about this MOV. Let's go ahead and switch from Media Browser to Properties. And then if I double click this MOV, we can see it becomes activated. Everything's blue now. It opens up in the editor panel and it also opens up a video preview so that we can see exactly what's going on. Inside of our properties, we've got even more information about not only the audio, but video stuff as well, such as dimensions, and frame rate. If we go ahead and play this back. Today we'll see how to get started using Adobe Spark on the web. Go we can see it's a basic tutorial type video and we can view this in waveform view alongside of the video preview down here in order to keep us in line with what's going on across both forms of communication, both video track and audio track. 